Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do something quite different. Uh, we're going to be playing around with the uh, NVIDIA game filter. Uh, and that uh, basically allows you to change a lot of the uh, the way the game looks while you're playing. So uh, you can change a lot of different factors in it. Um, not allow me to... So basically, uh, you you can you've got different saves. These are basically just different saves. So if I hit number one there, um, I can add a filter. Now I've already got what I've saved on here. So basically, just you can add different filters. A lot of these you, you don't even want to use. I mean, you can if you like, but uh, it just really to me, I only want to use the game filter for just improving the um, the graphics and the, the image quality, you know, just for a bit of fun. Uh, and to let you guys know that this does impact performance. So um, if you're already getting with your system low frames per second, uh, this is going to impact your frames per second by around 15 to 20 PSI. Uh, it also depends on the game. So uh, not all games can use this uh, NVIDIA Experience game filter um it's it's basically a lot of the newer games will support it uh, i think you can go on the internet if you google search it uh, there is a list of games that do support this so um yeah like i said a lot of the newer games will support it this is one of them so i thought we'll just do a, a bit of a video on a demonstration how you can set it up um, and for this game i've set mine up so uh, this is what i believe for me is um the best um, without losing a huge amount of performance, but I reckon with this game it improves the image quality quite drastically, and 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 uh, it does look awesome. So if I just get rid of that, resume, and uh, so that's on, that's off. Looks very muddy with it off, doesn't it? That's that's standard, on off big difference and um, I'll just bring up my statistics so as you can see about 112 frames per second with it on with it off yeah it goes all up to sort of anywhere around 130 frames per second so it does use quite a bit of performance someone did ask me a while ago and and I was pretty sure that it did use a lot of performance uh, I wasn't sure exactly but this will show you today uh, how much performance it will use so let's go yeah this is my setting and I reckon this looks good in this game you know it's not too overly saturated all right so I'm just gonna get rid of the overlay for a minute I'll bring back up the filter and I'll show you what I've done here so I start off with details and I've gone to 25% sharpening, so yeah, you can just go ridiculous amounts of sharpening, but it just doesn't look doesn't look good. Um, some of these settings too do make a difference with the type of game you're playing too. So um, this setting won't work for all games. Uh, this is just for this game, so you just got to spend a bit of time playing around with it. Um, I've got the clarity on 71%, but on some games it looks stupid, but this to me. So standard there is on 0%. Let's bring it right down, and then if you're moving all the way up, yeah, it does improve the, the clarity. And I've got HDR toning up 39%. It just works well with um, Come on. my other details. I have left Bloom where it is because Bloom makes it look terrible it just doesn't work like um, normal graphics bloom it just basically over saturates it with white light so uh, we've got color next thing I did was color I've left the tint and tint intensity as it was and I've left the temperature the same but I've just turned vibrance up to 28 um, so that's zero there that's maximum so I just left at that so I right, just want to make sure yeah 
And then we've got colour. I know. Uh, yeah, no, then we've got, I did just do colour, so we've got brightness and contrast next. And that's all I've done, so I've left exposure where it is, I've got the contrast up to 16. <clears throat> See the exposure. Yeah, I mean, you know, people might have their own setting for that, but for me, with everything else I've got, I've left that on zero and I've got the contrast up a bit. And I've got the highlights up a little bit to compensate for the extra contrast. Uh, because when you turn the contrast up, your dark, darker parts of the scene is, is going to go quite dark. So highlights just brings that back up again to match up the contrast. And same with the shadows. It just works well with the contrast and the highlights. What I've got there. So yeah, we'll just get rid of that. I'll bring up the statistics again. We'll go into a bit of gameplay. And, uh, and we'll, we'll show you what it looks like. I'll tell you what I'm going to turn it on and off. Moving out. That's off. On. Turn the volume up a bit. Let's go. Hey. You know, a wound like this takes eight weeks to heal. I'm ready, Sergeant. You've got my word. Oh, your word. So that's on. Off. That don't mean shit to me. It's crazy difference. I mean... So you're good, huh? To me, that looks a lot better. Hopefully, you guys can see that on YouTube. But you got guts, Brad. I just don't want to see you. Tanks rolling. Hang on tight, boys. This is a good part of the game that shows it quite nicely. Like a lion likes a steak. Let's go! Let's go! So I've got all the settings on maximum. I have done a video on this before some time ago. Might just pause that and show you that actually. Uh, let's have a look. Settings. Fan settings. So I've got obviously VSync off. Um, left the T2X resolution. That's on native that's on the maximum anti-aliasing everything else is on maximum sky resolution normal is the maximum as you can see shader preload I've got that on it just gives you longer load times but it works better when you're in game uh, everything else uh, depth of field is not on maximum because I don't like too much depth of field and I've got motion blur off because it looks terrible in videos, I reckon. Might be good when you if you're just playing the game, I might turn that on, but for videos and YouTube it looks better off. Uh, and everything else is on, on maximum. Looks like you're holding up alright. Yeah, how about yourself? So on let you guys have all off. the fun. Uh, fun's not allowed under Pearson. On. You know why he's always writing you? Kasserine Pass! Lost my best friends there. Yeah, earned him an article 15 and a demotion. He had to be a hard ass, and his men paid the price. Mission was Fubar, a massacre. Now she's had no So we'll just get to the gameplay no, part and we'll do that. They didn't have time to seal the western exit. Almost so you can lost see. everything thanks to that son of a bitch. A Turner still ain't over it. Matter of fact, he was the one who wrote him up. Pearson figures if he makes you a model That's platoon, off. You'll get it scrubbed. Only we're doing the scrubbing. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now you're getting it. It's why he's never going to give up. He'd kill to have it removed. To me, this is probably one of the better looking Call of Duties. You just had supper. Hey, shit on a shingle doesn't count. Hey, how about barbecue, eh? Off. They never stood a chance. On. I'm guessing no to the open casket. Yeah, that's somebody's son. Nah, it's a crowd. Uh, Daniels is right. They're not all bad. They did give us Kepler, Mozart. All right, college. Marlena Dietrich. See, that's more like it. Don't forget about their inventions. You got the printing press, electron microscope. Frankfurters. You guys are killing me. You guys hear that? It's headed this way. Stukas, inbound. Um, um. Yeah. Me out of that. Clear the tanks. Get 
off the road. We'll circle around. Okay, Move. so. Let's go. Fair difference. Oh, some of that. Don't know why it does that sometimes, but anyway. We have to protect our Shermans. That's black fire in the distance. I know why it does that. Start uh, playing the game, and then as soon as you sh uh, shift sprint. Yeah, let's turn that off. On. I was a big fan of the rifle game playing World of War. I used to play that a lot online. I used to jump in the uh, the rifle only servers. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It, it looks good. I'll be looking forward to testing that because that's going to be um, it's going to have the whole hog with ray tracing as well effects. So yeah, let's turn that off again. It's very muddy. Another German rifle here somewhere, or is it? Oh, I think it's oh, okay. Anyway, Oop, bit of a frame dip there. So yeah, off. On. Shit. Bit late to be using first aid. Didn't see him there. Anyway. Auto weapon line around here. I go. <clears throat> Try not to. Okay, so yeah, we'll just there's off again. We need to rally with our tanks. Spread out. Do 
do a little bit more gameplay, I don't want to make it too long this video, I guess. Missed. Move! Push him back! Off again. There you have it. Get after them. Come on, they're on the run. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you get something out of that. You get a bit of a play with that. But yeah, just keep in mind it does use a fair bit of performance, as you can see. Uh, but you can play with some of the games with that tool. I mean, for so long I don't even know that was there, but uh, some games it does. It, it makes it look a little bit terrible. This is one of the good ones that, to me, looks uh, a lot nicer to be using it. And if you've got a system um, that can be uh, capable of losing those frames, uh, be good. But thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up and um, subscribe if you like, if you haven't already. And I'll be back for more. See you soon.